Oh boy. Now we're into the phase of getting everybody all chucked in off that hard pack and let the dogs start to do their, their routine. Paige and I talked about last night, you know, there's so many different ways to do this. You know, some people like to release the booties first, some people like to get the straw first. Depending on the day and temperature is really what Nick talked about with me. He said, you know, really for me it's by the temperature. If, uh, if it's super cold, I'll prioritize certain things. If it's warm, I'll, I'll let the dogs cool off and prioritize other like hydration. So, uh, you know, if you watch enough of my live feed, you'll see this is the type of footage that we give you lots of where you can really see how much care and time goes into taking care of each and every what we call camping at these checkpoints. Camping is when the straw comes out, the dogs rest. They need to do that about every four to six hours for at least four to six hours with a break longer than that at some point. That's why the races like this, the qualifier for Iditarod has the six hour um, checkpoint. And then we have to do one six. And then that's why Iditarod has the, you know, the 24s and the 12s and the, and the eights and stuff and 10s. So that is to uh, ensure that there's a reset uh, physiologically for the dogs and for the mushers that nobody's overdoing it. And you know you can just see right away the importance of that straw. The dogs get right into their routines, cleaning off ice balls, checking on their little parts, doing all the things that dogs like to do when they get in, because they're professionals too. And they, uh, this is how they operate. They operate knowing that everything's coming their way. The TLC, that's the relationship, that's the contract. The dogs trust the musher, the musher trust the dogs, but there has to be that reciprocation of of um, the musher providing for every need that the dogs can't take care of on their own. And this is part of it right here. Look at that nice set of leaders, just all into their business. I know my Huskies like to clean up their, their snowballs and here's a good example of that right there. You get a little build up on the back of your leg and for this dog, they want that out of there. It's gonna go ahead and get that out of there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this line, this neckline. Let me get this neckline off the neck, okay? There you go. Yeah. Okay, race officials here doing what they always do, being supportive. Oh, sorry. Vets here. So much support. So there we go. There's uh, Team Squid. Now let's go over to Team Wild and Free is right behind me here. I'm trying to give you a shadow free look at them, but you can just see the reflectors in there. And then that's Brent's team right over the snowbank. And then you water steam is right over that. So very soon this is gonna be a quiet nursery for all three teams where they get the rest. And then Matt Hall will be coming in here very soon. So I think that, um, yeah, I think that everything's going really well for these three teams. We're hoping it's going well for all the teams out there. It's about the journey. It's about the community. It's about the relationship. And we'll catch you here soon.